Okay, I think we should just dive right into it. It's early. I'm sick. I'm tired. I haven't had my coffee. You know, it's it's a bad morning. It's a real bad morning. But anyway, I thought we were gonna dive right into it and with as little of editing as possible. Wow, that was not correct English. But you know, uh, I'm testing out a new format where, where I just, you know, sit and edit and you follow along as long as you want to. Um, no stress, no press. Press, it's, it's different in Swedish. It's pressure, you know. But anyway, you should follow the channel if you want to. And I'm gonna start editing, as I do. So here we have an empty shot. Um, I should start by saying you should definitely film this in either 50 or 60 frames per second. I shot it in 25 at first. It looked horrible. I mean, the, the motion blur was catastrophe. Is, is, that, is that correct? I don't know. Anyway, here we have the empty shot. You always need an empty. Empty is always good. Place that somewhere in the middle. Right click, add frame hold, and just, you know, max that clip out. And then I want to have the part where I toss the balls. So let's see. I can start here. One ball. Two balls. Three balls. Yeah, no wonder I don't have an Oscar yet. But I don't need the sound for this one. And I will have one at the bottom, and then one, two, three, because I'm tossing three balls. So we'll start with the first one. I wanted to stop. Let's see. I noticed one thing. Um, I don't want the balls to bounce back up, as you can see here. So I will need to freeze the balls before the highest point of the bounce back. I think, if you know what I'm, I mean. So I will need to freeze them above there above the table essentially so yeah first ball i can freeze it right up here why not add frame hold and i'll just hide that clip so i can see the clip below next ball it should be maybe there yeah sure let's go um you know i've seen these clips floating around the internet because I'm a I'm an internet guy you know uh, and it, it looks complicated but it really it really isn't and the last ball right around there yeah I'm happy right click add frame hold and then we just start we can start with the first clip I have the ball here go to effect control opacity I like to use the ellipse tool you can use whatever tool you want, a pen maybe. But we need to find a ball. Yep. And just make it smaller. Make it smaller. Right around there. You can see we still have a bit of motion blur, but not as much as we would have had in like 25, 24 frames per second, depending on where you live. Um, mask feather, maybe 20. Nope, not 20. Five. Yes, we get a crisp edge. Okay, there's the first ball. Let's find the second. There's the second one. Now we can use the pen just to, you know, just to experiment. So I like to do a bunch of dots and then boop. And then I can start, you know, Bringing the dots closer and closer. Oh shit, I think I took too many dots. Oh, oh. You know, Control C is possibly your best friend, you know, when editing. Ah, come on, man. There. And, 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 like so. And, like so. Yeah, I'm happy. And the third ball. Where the heck is the third ball? There it is. And I'm gonna just use the ellipse tool again. I think it's easier. There we go. Rounding it in. You know, it's funny in Premiere, all these effects you see on, 
I don't know where you're on TikTok, maybe Facebook, Instagram. Uh, all these effects look really complicated. At, at least I think so, but they're they're really not. Okay, so we have one ball, we have two ball, and maybe three ball. Boom. No, we have not three ball. Where is ball three? Hello. Okay. Ball three apparently didn't want to freeze. That's cool. Let's do that. Do this. You know what? Maybe freeze it here. That could be cool. Add frame hold. And then just duplicate the process. You know, sometimes... Sometimes Premiere is a bitch. So all your work disappears. And just do that, do this, stretch it, compress it. Wow, okay. Let's try this again. One ball, two ball, come on three ball please. Yay, three balls. But the problem is you can still see the bounce if you look at my mouse, my pointer, you know. Um, that is what we're going to fix. So, this is the bottom clip. We have done nothing with it. If we hide all the other clips, you can see we had just had the selection mask of the ball. Um, so what I want to do in the bottom layer is to do another opacity. Just take it so it doesn't bounce back. Okay. And out you go, down you go, up you go. So yeah, we have to have a bit more fun. I didn't, I didn't account for this. Okay, so when I dropped the first ball, you can see the second one kind of just floating around. That's, that's not what we want. So I might just have to take the mask up there, maybe zoom in a bit more. And just follow the mask around the ball. Here, here it's okay, you know, to, to take your time. I usually, you know, just watch Netflix. Maybe have some Spotify on. But I would get copyright striked, so I will not do that now. Instead, I have you guys. You're just as fun. There we have ball number one. Where is ball number... Oh. No. Boop. There is ball number one. Where is ball number two? Ah, oh, it freezes under. Ah, oh, come on, man. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Yeah, this is by far the most time consuming part of the whole process. There we go. One, two, and where is number three? Of course it's there. Oh, shit. So let's just do this. This might work. This might not work. Let's see. Inverted. So let's try. Maybe not. Let's try, so, ball one, ball two, and ball three. But we have some problem with the mask. Um, if you didn't follow along there, I noticed I missed the part, as I usually do. So when I have these two layers left, it, it is the same layer as the first one. So I dropped the ball, but I don't have the mask in the same place. So therefore, you know, I, I will see the entire ball dropping. Um, I just delete those two layers because we have this bottom one that, you know, still shows me. That's the important part, of course. But the question here is why I see the rest of the ball. Might it be that one? Yep, I think it is. 
chỗ ấy xin đâu Yep, I still do I just move the mask Oh shit There we go, let's try that I still see like mm, Like a tiny bit of the ball Where, where, where There, 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 there Right? Ah, uh, the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, so by now you might have figured out that this process is kind of tedious, kind of boring. But it has to be done in order to execute this effect properly. If you don't want the ball to bounce back up, that is. That, that's okay, I guess and then you won't have to do all these steps, but unfortunately, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw that frame. That's, that's just one frame. I don't care. One ball. Ball number two. Do we see more of ball number two? Yeah, we do. Why? Let's try moving the frame out and see boop and shoop yeah sure why not and last ball yeah and you know i i think that's the whole effect um sure you can stylize it um first we need to nest the whole thing just so we won't you know mess up the effects we all already done so here we have nested the clip i like to go into effects Presets I've downloaded and uh, fake handheld motion. So just wide smooth motion. Let's try that. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you know, like to really sell sell the effects. Um, and then of course sound design. You you just need maybe some music, some birds, some you know to like. Maybe we still can add that one. Um, right where I dropped the ball, pop, 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 there, I want to scale it up to like 107, and then one frame forward, 105.5, as it were, and let's see, dunk, yeah. Oh, where, where does the ball freeze? There. There. So there. And maybe 108 this time. And 105.5. There we go. And then I can just do like a little, a little like this. And 112, maybe? No, that's too small. 130. And just move the whole thing there and last ball there so there we go 135 no that's too big and 130 and now let's watch the whole thing back so we got dunk uh-huh boom you know I, I i truly believe i i don't truly believe it but you know this this little jitter that we did I think it kind of sells the effect, you know, the camera, it, it pulsates, it shakes. Um, so you feel more like, like the balls more like grounded to reality, I guess, because as of now, they're just fake elements in Premiere. They're not real things. So, you know, we need to make it more real, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Ah. I, you know what? I'm so mad about this, this, this little piece. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. You know, can I be? Can I do this? Let's see. Can I be this? Can I just cut one frame out? Is that possible? Is that possible? Do I still? I still see it though, right? 
Is it two frames maybe? Let's try that one more time. Uh huh. Can we fool everyone? Yeah! Haha! <laughs> so, ball number one. Ball number two. And ball number three. I sound like one of those guys at the lottery. But, anyways, there, there we have the effect. Um, I would like probably add some some sort of sound okay so now I just downloaded like a knocking sound I don't, I don't know if that will work Let, let's let's try it together it's a bit loud just your <laughs> just you're prepared okay and let's have that knock every time the ball freezes so there one knock whoa that's loud two knocks Boom, right where the frame jumps. Nope, that's too late. One frame earlier. There we go. Same here. Yep. And the third ball. Boom. Boom. Okay, we need to audio gain this. So just Mark all, right click, audio gain, like maybe negative 20. You just type minus 20. That's too low. Audio gain. Is it right now? Yeah, I think it's okay. And maybe some birds. You know, birds are awesome. So you just lay in the birds. Maybe lower that one too, you know. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, why not? What, what is this? Yeah, you know what? Just just add some background noise. I like I like background noises. But not that loud. Negative. 10 maybe yeah uh-huh but there we'll we're missing one one B right nest one more time just because I like nesting there we go effects control scale 105 100 Maybe 105 was too much. Hundred. Hundred and two. And hundred. Yep. Yep. I think that might be it. Um nest one more time. I don't know why we're nesting so much. It's it's not necessary, really. Um, let's go back to effects. Nope. Where is I? I usually have two screens. Come on. There we go. Lumetri color. And time for the fun bit. Let's raise the temperature a bit. Yeah, sure. Exposure. Um,. I want to lower the saturation, maybe a bit, yeah, like so. I want to lower the reds, not so much, like that. Ah, come on. Maybe like so. Go down to color wheels and match, wherever the hell they are. There we go, shadows. Maybe blue-ish. There we go. Mid-tones. I think I want to go for like a sepia look. Is it called that? I don't know. Like a retro stylish film through a somewhat crash camera. Oh, there we go. And there we go. 
I, is it just me or am I a little out of focus? I think I am. Well, that's the important thing. You need to set focus beforehand when you do this effect because otherwise when you film the empty plates, the whole thing will be in focus. That doesn't look good. Um, otherwise, I could just recommend like a high F number like F11 maybe if you have the right lighting equipment. I surely don't. So I choose to go with F3.5. I, I would like to go at like F2, but that would mean the background would be too blurry and it would just be so much harder. Okay. Oh shit. And now the final step. Exporting. It's, it's really simple. Control M brings out media exports. I have a preset that is for YouTube. So I just chose that one. But really you want to choose the frame rate. Now it's at 50, not 25. And then I want to choose Hardware encoding, level high, profile high, 5.0, I don't know. And CBR, that's the most important part. Not VBR 1 pass, not VBR 2 pass, CBR. And you want to set the target bit rate to about 40 if it's 1080p. And about like between 60 to 100 if it's 4K. I, I, I usually go about 60 because the files tend to go really big. Um, yeah, and just export it. Bloop, export, and the whole thing is done, I think. Okay, so let's see what kind of magic we've created in like three seconds. Wait, wait, hold on, you can do it computer, I believe in you. Okay, so here we have the final file, let's see. Yep. Uh-huh. You know, that, that was, okay, I'm gonna be honest, that was not good at all. Um, you know, it, it was just a quick effect. I don't know what to say. I usually spend more time on these and I usually check focus beforehand and not in post because holy shit, it's hard to fix in post. I I, I mean, it's, it's impossible to fix in post. Anyways, here's the effect. I mean, you can go and impress your friends, your family. You can give it to them as a Christmas present. I don't know. Maybe, maybe don't do that. They won't appreciate it. But either way, now you know how to do the freeze frame effect. Really simple, really easy. Not a lot of time, just just a whole lot of nesting and a whole lot of masking. So, you know, it's a tedious process. Use headphones, listen to Spotify, watch Netflix, eat a cake, maybe, I don't know. Do what suits you. Thank you guys for listening, viewing, watching, subscribing. Can I say all those things? You should subscribe if you haven't. I mean, it's, it's much appreciated. But either way, now you know how to do the freeze frame effect. It's a cool effect. It's an easy effect. You can impress almost everyone who who haven't watched this video or any other video on the freeze frame effect but you know it's an easy effect it looks it looks hard but it isn't okay well i think that's all for me i'm gonna drink some coffee because i'm really tired <laughs>